first trip down to Area 52. And it feels like July. Cool. Guys, welcome to Midwest Whitetail, October 1st. We are set up on a clover plot that is a transition to grain. And uh, this is a spot that uh, I transitioned into a clover plot right away on this farm. It was a food plot the very first year I bought it. And uh, the clover looks really great, it really does. And uh, this white oak that we're in right now is just a cool spot to set up early season. Easy in and out, could be a spot for dough management. But uh, the other thing is too, there's been a a true buck that's been showing up down here. He's been in the middle of the night, so nothing daylight yet, but uh, you never know. So I talked a little bit about what we got going on in front of us. We have a southeast wind tonight, so essentially it's blowing right into our face. And uh, there's actually a little ditch that gets off to our northwest. So it's a southeast wind tonight. Typically I hunt this stand on a south, southwest, or a southeast wind. Um, really anything out of the south, it really just sucks it down in that ditch. It's looking like tonight's forecast. I was looking on Onyx weather earlier. It looks like it's gonna die off early, later on in the evening to get pretty calm is what it's gonna be. So our thermal should suck right down into that, that ditch creek area that we're set up on. With it being early season, this is a safe sit and uh, focus on that doe management. Be open to the idea of a mature buck showing up too. Well, we wanted to do a quick update. It's uh, just before six o'clock right now and uh, kind of as anticipated with it being warm and early season hunting. Haven't seen a whole lot yet, but uh, we wanted to give an update also on the hit list because uh, there a few weeks ago on the main show, we kind of talked about, uh, you know, what my hit list and what it was looking like. And uh, at the time there wasn't a lot to show really when it came down to it. Area 52 is a big timber track down here. But in the last several weeks, it's really started to come to life and I've seen some familiar faces start to show up. Um, the first one that I'm gonna talk about is the buck that I was calling Young Stud, but uh, I'm gonna rename him to a food theme and he's gonna be Whopper down here in Area 52. And uh, his name definitely fits him too because he made a really nice jump from last year. He's got split brows and I think he could have 16 or 17 scoreable points and he's just a really cool buck. Uh, that fettuccine buck has yet to show up yet at this point in time, but I think if he does, he'll be something that'll be worth noting for sure. I'll keep you guys posted on that. And then the last one for sure is a mature buck that uh, he was a six pointer last year and then kind of made the jump to an eight point this year. So I'm calling him chicken nugget because he was a six piece last year and now he's an eight piece this year. So kind of continue with that food theme. He's a really cool old brew and uh, I would argue that he's probably the most mature buck down here and uh, he's right near the top of the hit list for sure. So with all that being said, we still got a few hours left tonight before legal shooting light. So uh, we're gonna nestle into this tree and hopefully enjoy the show. We were throwing around the skunk word for a little while. I was a little worried about it that we were gonna have first hunt skunk, but uh, we just saw a doe about 120 yards out, so we'll see if she works her way up here.
Man, that got exciting uh, there pretty quickly at the end. Those does came in and uh, it just kind of ended up being an opportunity. You know, today was absolutely a doe hunt. You know, I hate to pass on opportunities when they present themselves like that because those does, I think when they were closest, they're probably within 10 yards, you know, in all honesty. But uh, when I went to draw back, I couldn't see my peep. It was just so dark. I feel like it got really dark really quick tonight. That got fun really quickly that I'm not positive if it was pretzel or not, but that was after legal shooting at that point. But we kind of switched over in the infrared and we were able to get some footage of them. Definitely an exciting way to kick off the season. And uh, I'm itching to get right back in the tree. You know, it might uh, fast track our timeline for this week. I mean, maybe we can get out maybe Tuesday or Wednesday this week, but uh, definitely be out for the cold front this coming weekend. Thank you.